Hi, I'm Gary LaMarche, and I'm the president of the Atlantic Philanthropies. I'd like to tell you a bit about what the Foundation's doing to promote social justice in the seven countries in which we work. We're in business to support people around the world who are taking the lead and bringing about lasting change. We believe that the people who need the change the most are the best positioned to lead the way to full access to their political, social, and economic rights. Who are these people? They're the young, the old, those whose human rights are violated or who suffer from substandard health care. In the countries in which we are active, social and economic barriers often block justice and fair treatment. We believe in supporting those who are joining together in advocacy to remove these barriers and create more equitable and just societies. And we believe the people most affected by problems must be the ones most involved in solving them. Two examples among many are our support of the Older and Bolder campaign, through which older adults in Ireland fight for fair social benefits. We also support the Treatment Action Campaign, which demands full access to antiretroviral drugs for people with HIV AIDS in South Africa. Our approach to lasting social change seeks to build in the existing capacities of individuals, organizations, communities, and movements, to develop frontline leaders, to strengthen communities to act on their own behalf, to address the root causes rather than symptoms of injustice, to connect the delivery of vital services to advocacy that secures them for all who need them, and to build and support partnerships with government, funders, and others who can work for change for decades to come. In keeping with the giving while living philosophy of our founder, Chuck Feeney, we believe that major problems can be more effectively addressed if they're invested in today rather than tomorrow. To that end, we're committed to spending Atlantic's entire endowment over the next decade because change is needed now. At this moment, the countries in which we operate are reeling from the economic collapse. Governments and funders have cut spending, and the people and organizations they support must meet greater challenges with fewer resources. We believe that supporting advocacy for social justice will produce the strong leaders, organizations, communities, and movements so necessary at this time to fight for those who need change the most. On behalf of all of us of Atlantic, I encourage you to learn more about the visionary and tenacious individuals and organizations we're privileged to support. Please join with us in working for lasting social change. Thank you.